Lord, we thank you for your word in verse 11 that says that you gave us apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers to equip your people for works of service, for ministry, mm -hmm. so that the body of Christ may be built up. Father, thank you for leaders. Lord, even this morning, as I prayed for the man who pastored me for many years, I speak a blessing over Steve Merle and Deborah Merle. Father, I thank you for this man's life thank you, Lord. and what he has poured into my life. Yes. Lord, give your people an appreciation of teachers. And Father, expose false teachers in their lives and let them see, Lord, that teachers are not just teachers, but they're really looking for fathers. They're not perfect. Lord, this man was never perfect, Lord, but he was my father. And I thank you for Steve, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that even now, cause your people to thank mm. you, our Father, yeah. that gave us imperfect fathers, Lord, who put things in our lives. Lord, yeah. I thank you for this spiritual father who, who taught me how to care for those who may not be as strong. Mm. Yeah. Lord, teach fathers and ministers, Lord, not just to speak, Lord, but to equip. And Lord, we know that equipping most of the time, Lord, is seeing the model of their lives. And I pray, Father, that you would give sons and daughters, Lord, and even reminded of Malachi, mm -hmm. where you will draw sons and fathers to one another, which is the way you break the curse. Father, let that start in your own house, where church members, Lord, honor their fathers and not just listen to, Lord, your word says there are many, many teachers, yeah. but not many, many fathers, Lord, mm -hmm. who genuinely will care, Father, who genuinely will, will stretch because they love their children. Mm -hmm. So, Father, I'm just praying for the body of Christ right now. I pray for fathers who are, Lord, under smaller churches, Lord, who don't have resources to do what we're doing here right now. We just intercede for them. Lord, we just pray right now for the body in Singapore and all over the world, Lord, that you would just cause these fathers, these apostles, these pastors, these teachers to rise up in this hour. Lord, I pray that whatever accusation or condemnation or work of the enemy to discourage, Lord, we just pray for the spirit of encouragement to be upon them even right now. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. You know, as I'm reading that verse 11 and 12, just reminded of the, the value of gifts that are different than us that rather than make us insecure or make us reject or try to prioritize or push for who's higher or better god thank you that there's prophetic voices that have spoken into my life in key moments thank you for evangelists who have who have helped me open my eyes to the harvest uh, rather than get over focused on myself thank you for teachers who've instructed us in the word god thank you for all those things but i thank you as pastor joey prayed lord that you've given fathers you've given family to equip your people for works of service in all these different giftings and all these different modalities yeah in ways of doing life you've helped people be equipped to, to serve you so that the body of christ may be built up how by serving help us to remember that the way we're going to grow is by serving one another yes. you're equipping us by making us servants you're building us up. You're strengthening us by us helping others. Yes. God, thank you that you don't um, build us up when we're sitting there going, feed me, feed me, feed me, feed me. You build us up when you empower us by going out there and lifting Praise some weight, God. doing yep. some stuff, helping other people, bearing one another's burdens, as you've said earlier in these verses. And thank you for the leaders who have taught us how to do that correctly. I'm just picturing like you know trainers who, who teach you how to correctly use equipment in the gym so you don't hurt yourself, but you grow yourself. And so, Lord, thank you for those guys. They don't lift the weight for us. They don't do the service for us, but they train us that we might serve well. Thank you that you've given wisdom to your church so that we can grow without injuring ourselves.